This is an ATM. There are over 425,000 of them in the U.S. alone. But back in 1974, ATMs were a feat of technology. They gave people access to their checking accounts without having to wait in lines at the bank. It was the first of its kind. And it's considered to be the start of the Internet of Things. Fast forward to today, where 23 billion devices are connected with endless possibilities for change. But who really benefits from these possibilities? People or businesses? In its simplest definition, the Internet of Things is the interconnection of devices via the Internet. The things can be computers, cell phones, watches, cars, washing machines, printers, machine components, or any device that can connect to the Internet. Once they're connected, the things can talk to you and each other. Today you can connect almost everything in your house with a smart home hub, like an Amazon Alexa or Google Home. The hub can communicate and control your refrigerator, TV, speakers, lights, home security, and more through your Wi-Fi. But let's think bigger. The Internet of Things could be applied on a broader scale. It could create smarter cities or spark another industrial revolution. Sensors and devices could be used to send real-time data to city officials for analysis allowing for more productive uses of city resources and funds to lower pollution rates or monitor the distribution of water, or simpler things like helping drivers find parking and optimizing public transportation. The same principles can be used to streamline manufacturing. Connected machines can automate the assembly process and optimize the supply chain. According to Cisco, the Internet of Things has the potential to grow corporate profits by 21% in 2022. Sensors and consumer products collect and send data back to corporations to analyze trends and usage patterns. The empirical data allows companies to lower expenses and improve the efficiency of their products. Eventually, the data can lead to finding new business opportunities and, in turn, new revenue streams. It's been predicted that by 2020, 100 billion devices will be connected to the Internet of Things. So with all these devices sharing information, how will people benefit? Smart homes will streamline day-to-day -day life. Increased access to patient information could help doctors improve the patient experience and reduce errors. Smart cities could improve urban living. The information that these things share helps companies fine-tune products for their consumers. But are they improving people's lives or empowering consumerism? Instead of using this info to improve current products, companies could create a need for new ones. Are smart homes serving a purpose or are they a new trend? Is the Internet of Things a step towards a smarter society, or is it another hit in a world of addicted consumers? If the Internet of Things grows as predicted, who will benefit the most? Businesses or the people? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and please like and subscribe.